Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will be talking about growing mulberries. Mulberry, also known as shahtut or tooth, is a fruiting tree that grows quite big if you plant them in the ground and they live for many many years. But you can also grow them in containers quite easily. Mulberry is a very important tree as it is a big part of sericulture. Commercially, the mulberry trees are used for silk production as the mulberry leaves are the food source of silk worms. I will discuss how you can grow them in your own garden. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and stay connected. Mulberry is a fast growing tree and it has small colorful fruits that have a sweet and sour taste. They have a lot of health benefits. They are filled with antioxidants. The most popular mulberry varieties are the red, white and black mulberries. The fruits are not very common in the market, so it is best to grow them in your own garden and mulberry plants are very easy to grow, so you don't have to work too hard to grow them. The best way you can grow them is by buying a nice plant from a nursery. A grafted plant will be great. You can also grow them from stem cuttings. Growing from seed is not a good idea, it will take too much time and effort. This is how the condition was when I bought my plant. It was just a few inches tall and it was in a very tiny container. After a month, I reported the plant in a 5 or 6 inch pot and you can see it gained some health, big leaves developed and just after reporting, it started producing fruits. If you are growing them in a container, then choose a big size pot. Take at least a 10 to 12 inch container so they can grow well. Few months later, I reported them again in an 8 inch pot and you can see they have bigger and better fruits. So start with small containers and then move to bigger pots gradually. Because they are bushy tree, they need a big pot to fruit well. Any fruiting tree need lots of energy, so grow them in full sunlight. To get the best results, give them minimum 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight. You can also grow them in partial shade, but do not grow them in full shade, they will not grow well. In extreme hot weather, you can move your container plants to a partial shade area so the plant doesn't get exhausted. Mulberries are very flexible plants. They can adapt to any type of soil, but for best results, grow them in a well-draining, moist and rich soil. Add a lot of compost to the potting mix as they need lots of energy to fruit well. Keep feeding them time to time throughout the year. Feeding during the springtime is very important because it is the growing season. In early spring, you can dig the topsoil and add a few layers of good quality compost. It will boost the plant growth. Add a handful of bone meal or horn meal to encourage more flower and fruit production. As fertilizer, you can add any liquid organic fertilizer like seaweed, mustard cake or compost tea. I do not apply any chemical fertilizers. They fruit almost all year, mainly during the warm months. My plant is still very young. It's not even one year since I bought the plant and it's fruiting very well. The flowers are very tiny, almost not visible. At the beginning, the fruits are green. As they mature, they become red. At this point, the taste will be very sour. They fully mature when the color becomes black. At this stage, you can harvest them. Fully ripe fruits are quite sweet and tasty. They have a tendency to drop when they're ripe, so harvest them as soon as they become dark. Mulberries prefer a evenly moist soil, so water them well. In containers, check the soil before watering. Don't overwater them too much. Water when the top soil gets dry. Make sure you have good drainage holes. Also, don't keep the soil too dry for a long time. It can damage the fruits and they may drop early. The plant can get some pest problems. I have faced thrips and millibug problems. So use organic pesticides or soap water spray. It is better to not use any chemical pesticides in fruiting plants. Birds can be a problem too. They can eat your fruits, so keep an eye on them. Occasional pruning is also very important. If your plant gets too tall, you can prune them and make them bushier. Prune at the end of winter, it is the best time. That is pretty much everything you need to do to grow mulberries. Growing a rarely available fruit in your own garden is a great joy. I hope you will enjoy growing them and if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more content. I will see you next time. Bye!